Ladies and gentlemen, with the snapshot 22W12A, we got the warden and chest boats, but also a few technical improvements for commands and more. My name is Sliced Lime, and in this video, we're going to go through all the technical changes. If you're interested in the gameplay changes, check out my video on that, it's linked right here. Let's start with a command change. The locate biome command now searches in 3D properly, which means it will locate cave biomes correctly. It also now returns all three coordinates in the output, so you'll get teleported to the correct height if you use the command from clicking them. The new darkness effect is now available as a parameter to the effect command, and the new swift sneak enchantment is now available for use with the enchant command. In tag news, there's a new game event tag called Warden Events Can Listen, and a new item tag called Chest Boats. This tag is now also added to the boats item tag by default. In news for entities and data, obviously the Warden and Chest Boat entities have been added and the bug has been fixed with the Strider data, where Striders with no AI set would still get cold. In loot table news, the frog spawn block was missing a loot table that is fixed in this version. Before we talk about some bling bling in this version, please spawn a click on the like button. Liking the video makes YouTube share it to more people, so I'd really appreciate it. Thank you! So let's talk about particles! The Shriek particle has been added in this version, and the parameters to the Vibration particle have changed. Instead of specifying the start position as an extra parameter, the regular source of the particle is now used. So the command syntax is particle vibration, then target position in absolute coordinates, travel time and ticks, and then the rest of the regular particle arguments. A quick mention for resource pack shaders. There are now shader files for translucent entity rendering. For custom world density functions, the slide density function has been removed, and the slide math is now instead specified directly as density functions. If you want an example, check out the difference in noise settings slash end.json, which is also shown here on screen. The sampling fields have been removed from the noise settings and can now instead be found in the old blended noise density function. This now also has a smear scale multiplier field. In structure news, Jigsaw structures now have a max distance from center field between 1 and 128, which controls the maximum size of the entire structure. And a feature change. Foliage placers for tree features now automatically waterlog any waterloggable block they place. That's it for this version. Thank you for staying with me to the end of the video, I really appreciate it. And if you're interested in other technical changes for the wild update, check out this video right here.